Hello, my name is Maria Toka and today I'm going to show you how to create this blurry halftone effect in Adobe Photoshop. So I've already created a new document. It's A4 size, 300 dpi RGB color mode. And first thing you need to do is type your text. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to duplicate your background layer considering that it's white because we need a white layer and I'm going to select it and press command J or control J and then I am selecting also the text layer so I'm selecting both of them and I'm pressing command E that way I just merged these two layers together the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this to smart object to be able to edit it later then I'm gonna go to filter blur gaussian blur radius 20 is just about right i'm gonna click ok then i'm gonna duplicate this layer and i'm gonna turn this off i mean the top one and i'm activating the middle one then i'm gonna play with curves i am pressing command m and the curves panel just opened up and i'm gonna adjust it a little bit to make it lighter but not too contrasty yeah, I think this looks just about right. Okay, then I'm gonna turn off this layer and turn on the top layer. And also I'm gonna activate the top layer. And here, the next step will be filter, filter gallery, iris blur. And that way we'll be able to make partial blur in different areas of the canvas. You can change the size of this ellipse and place it wherever you want. And you just need to press anywhere else outside of it. Like I just added one more. You don't see the difference because you need to increase the strength amount. Also, I'm going to drag these dots towards the center to make the transition smoother. Okay, something like that. So as you can see, in some areas it's more blurry than in the other ones. Then the next step will be Command M, which is the curves panel. And I'm also going to adjust the curves and make it more contrasty. You can just try to make very similar curves as the one that I'm creating right now. Okay, I think this looks good to me. I'm gonna click OK. The next thing, I'm gonna change the layer mode to multiply and I'm also activating the layer underneath. And then I'm creating a layer mask by pressing this little icon. And then I'm gonna make sure that this layer mask is activated, not the, the layer itself, but its mask. And then I'm gonna select the brush tool, just a standard soft brush, 100% opacity, nothing special in terms of settings. And then I'm just gonna go over some of the areas that I want to erase and make the text a little bit uneven. Personally, I prefer erasing the, the thickest parts of the letters. I think it looks a lot more interesting. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I just needed to make sure that it's not the same width everywhere, that it's very chaotic, which is the effect that I was gonna achieve. Yeah, and then I'm gonna select both of these layers, merge them together by pressing Command E, and then I'm gonna go Filter, Filter Gallery, and the filter I'm choosing is Halftone Pattern in the folder Sketch pattern type dot size 3 contrast 0 okay and then I'm gonna go back to curves again by pressing command M and I'm gonna drag all this top dot all the way left until the background becomes white maybe a little bit darker the shadows something like that okay I think we're pretty much done you can leave it like that or there's one more optional step 
uh, I would add an adjustment layer in this pressing this little icon gradient map and then I'm going to open up this spectrum and add one more dot in the middle just pressing here in the middle then I'm opening this color and I'm gonna add the color I want for these gray areas because I want it to be blue I think it would look pretty grungy okay I guess we've done thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next videos